I'm here with Kelly Berglund from Disney's XD's Laborat. What exactly is Disney XD? Because when I was growing up, there was not a Disney XD. <laughs> a lot of people ask me that, and a lot of people ask me what the XD stands for, and nobody knows. I think it just means like... Like adventure or... Yeah, because Disney XD is basically more of a... It's guided more towards boys, which is why a lot of the shows involve action or like superheroes or things like that. Something that, you know, younger boys might be into. And I think the XD, maybe they're just like two really cool, like extreme letters. <laughs> so like, we'll go with that. <laughs> so we're here supporting your good friend, Olivia Holt. How excited are you for her? She's the face of Wallflower Jeans now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I love Olivia to death and this is really awesome. And I was like, I have to come to this event to support her. And I love your jeans. Are you wearing Wallflower Thank or? You. These aren't Wallflower. I think these are Topshop, I want to say. This is Top Man, Topshop? my favorite oh my store. God, that's like my favorite store too. I think. I think this is also maybe from Topshop. I can't remember, but like I go there every day. They just opened one in San Diego now, but they need another oh, okay. one in LA. That's I know. I, I go to the Grove mm -hmm. one like all the time, and I saw these. I'm like, wow, that's like rips to the max. But I liked them, so I bought them. <laughs> so what kind of jeans do you normally wear? Do you have a specific type or? Yeah, I like skinny jeans. I think because I'm shorter. And anything that's sort of baggy makes me look shorter and they kind of swallow me. So I think they just, you know, skinny jeans, they make my legs look long, they keep my figure nice and like the way that I want it to. And I like high-waisted jeans too. Those I like to wear with heels and I feel like, bam, legs. <laughs> All right, so I saw you went to uh, Not Scary Farm for the yes. VIP opening. How was that? So fun. A little terrifying. I can't do it. I went to Halloween Horror Nights for the first well, time last year. I just year. went there two nights ago, and I will say that I we went in like the Alien vs. Predator maze. I was a little bit scarred for the rest of the night. Because one of the aliens like came out from like their little hiding spot, and like their claw like grazed my face, and I was like... Oh my god, I need to get out of here. <laughs> I can't do it because last year, it was when The Purge was still huge. They do The Purge this year. They yeah, have the, you so this, in and it's all like Purge people. Exactly, and they were chasing me with the chainsaw. And she, oh my I, god, I hated that. I hated that so much. But I love scary movies and I love being scared. It's just ironic that like I'm dying to go and right. then I'm like, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> well, do you have any other plans for Halloween? I'm trying to figure that out. I know there's like... I've heard of a couple Halloween parties that are going on. Maybe I'll stop by for one of them, but I am still trying to plan that out. I have a couple weeks. Yeah, so. got a little time. So what's next for you besides Labyrinth? Um, I'm actually currently filming an independent film right now, actually in downtown LA. And I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the name of it yet, but um, Rashawn Fagan's in it, Isabel Furman's in it. Uh, such a great cast. I'm excited for my fans to see it because this is something that's a little bit different than anything else I've done. Um, and that, yeah, just season four of Lab Rats. And that, that's about it for me right now. Perfect. And the final thing, you know, the wallflower jeans, Olivia was telling us it's more not about being a wallflower, but standing out. So what advice do you give to young girls to stand out and chase their dreams? Um, I always say if, if you want to pursue something or if you really want to do something in life, then do it. And be yourself while doing it because don't try to be a certain way or act a certain way just to be cool, you know, because you think it's what's it's what's trendy right now. I think that I know when I got into acting, it's something that I really wanted to do and a lot of people judged me for it because it wasn't a huge thing in my town. But I was like, you know what, I don't care. I love to do this and I want to pursue it. So I did everything I possibly could and I gave 110% effort and you're bound to be somewhere that you want to be. I love it. You get out what you put in. Well, thank you so much for stopping by Chasing LA and yeah. have fun in there.